Well, go back. Uh, surprise me there. Sometimes that happens, and I'm not ready. Um, you're supposed to be ready. Okay, fine. Sure. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, welcome. Back. I was thinking because that's what I do. That's how I roll. Anyway, welcome back, everybody. PepsiCo is looking to go healthy right now, and they've had it with a lot of the, the stuff that necessarily we know we know them for. That does not mean that Pepsi is going to get rid of Fritos and Cheetos and Lay's and soft drinks and all, but it's just going to focus on other parts of its business. Like, I didn't know they have Quaker oatmeal, they have naked juice, uh, they have hummus, all sorts of hummus, by the way, which I still don't quite recognize, but people swear by it. But marketing strategist Laura Reese with me right now. Um, so they have all the healthy ingredients here, but I like the, the Wall Street Journal and others saying people really just like the chips, though, and they, 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 they're, they're more familiar with that stuff. So it's a tough sell, right? Well, believe me, they're, they're way familiar with those chips, and they're eating them up. Sales of salty snacks has been increasing, unlike soda that has been declining. And the most amazing thing is that for PepsiCo, which, as you said, is a quite diverse company, but 52% of those profits, operating profits, come from Frito-Lay North America. Hmm. Americans, in particular, are eating a lot of, lot of salty snacks, and they're making a lot of money over there. All right, so they're not going to get rid of any of that stuff, right? They're going to just no. put the emphasis on some of the healthier stuff. But it's the unhealthy stuff that kind of, you know, pays the bills, right? It absolutely pays the bills. Listen, you have a $60 billion company. Why aren't you going to focus on the majority of the business, almost all of the profits? You should be driving that business instead of f focusing on a very tiny part of the business. Hmm. Now, listen, everyone wants to be good for consumers and, and focus on, you know, helping people lead healthier lives and decrease obesity. And, and sure, they should take and they have taken some small steps. They've uh, Designer Salt has helped decrease sodium in their things 12 percent. They were the first to remove trans fats from their foods. That's those right. are big. Th those are great things. But, you know, Overall, you can't you can't turn PepsiCo into a health juggernaut, which is what the CEO says, unless you want to stop selling Doritos and stop making money. I mean, wake up. Well, people. they're not. Yeah, they're not going to do that. But apparently these other healthy launches haven't exactly taken off. They had the True North no. Nuts. Then they had like a, 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 a between a Pepsi Zero and a full Pepsi, a mid calorie Pepsi. Okay. Next, they had Quaker yogurt. Um, they've not exactly been firing on all cylinders on that front, but. What are they saying and what are they trying to become in the process? Well, you know, what I think is, is they're fearful of the negative PR and, and the backlash of right, people saying right. that they're a bad for you food company. That's what they're reacting to. And they don't want to be seen. They're trying but to Donald spin Trump their public junk image. Food and he's, he looks pretty robust to me for a guy 70 years old who eats all this stuff. So they, <laughs> well, they don't have to worry about Michelle Obama one. anymore, do they? <laughs> well, sure they do. But listen, a company that is so well established is going to be very, I mean, this is a big, giant company. You can't make a dramatic change to that company. McDonald's tried to go healthier. They launched salads. They had That's apples. True. I mean, do, do people think of them as healthier? Do When they go there, do they order it? No, they order McDonald's french fries and hamburgers. Speak because for that's yourself, what the young lady. Is. Speak for yourself. <laughs> uh, I like the variety of salads that... No, they, it's not a bad thing that right. they add them, but adding them doesn't change that the brand is a fast food brand. It doesn't change the brand into a healthy food brand. And Frito-Lay has to own up to, to the fact that they are a salty snack company right. as well as, you know, the Gatorade and Be the soda. The big Be issue is soda. Laura Reese, thank Be you. Be who you are. Very, very much. Good seeing you. Thank you.